dozens of vintage Army vehicles on display. Some cruised on land, air, and water. Fox 24's Don Roberts introduces us to a World War II veteran who tells us stories from behind the wheel. Well, I was drafted. Yeah, uh, I've worked on the farm with my father. Former Army Chief Warrant Officer 3, John Gregg, remembers details from 74 years ago as if it were yesterday. In 1945, the Army drafted Gregg while in high school in the no-traffic light town of Wilmar, Arkansas. Several months later, he was 8,000 miles away in the Philippines, a member of the nearly all-black 24th Infantry Regiment. There were about 300 colored troops. Uh, which was how they were referred to back then. And we started training on ducks in the middle of 47. Greg piloted duck boats, the Army's version of a floating truck in the Korean War, and he remembers coming under gunfire while crossing a river. The enemy opened up for us with small on fire from the beach. Well, thanks to the infantry we was carrying, so they opened up with their weapons from our ducks. And we got one duck hit pretty bad. In 1966, Greg completed warrant officer school as the first black deck warrant officer and captain of an Army landing craft utility boat. We had 12 U-boats, 12 Army captains. I'm the only black, 15-man crew, all white. The good man, and I found out later that knew, I knew my job, and I, they worked hard. They'd do anything for me. Grad captain 100-foot tugboats and a 300-foot fuel tanker before retiring in 1973. Home life? He and his wife Anne ran a daycare and school in Hampton. They raised three children of their own before Anne died in 1989. And now at 92 years of age, Chief Warrant Officer 3 John Gregg retired, looks back. Well, I, I had a wonderful ride. I had good days and bad days. Uh, more good than bad. For Veterans Voices, I'm Don Roberts.